show that in a right angled triangle the hypotenuse is the longest side welcome to mathotropism so the first step is understanding what is given and identifying the concept we have been given show that in a right angled triangle the hypotenuse is the longest side so given is a right angled triangle abc right angled at b which means that angle abc is going to be 90 degree we know that hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle so here since it the right angle is at b it means the side opposite to the right angle is ac so my ac is the hypotenuse we need to show that AC is the longest side. That means out of all the three sides of the triangle AB, BC and AC, AB is the longest side. So it relates to the inequalities in a triangle. What do you mean by inequalities in a triangle? We are talking with respect to the sides and angles which one will be greater. We have some theorems for that. So we will see that one by one. So the first one is if two sides of a triangle are unequal, the angle opposite to the longer side is the greater or the largest of all the three. It means that when there are unequal sides, the largest angle will be opposite to the largest side of the triangle. Next we have in any triangle, the side opposite to the larger angle is longer. That means in a triangle, if out of the three angles, one angle is the greatest, then the side opposite to that greatest angle will be the longest. So I think we can use this one for our sum. But anyway, we will see the last theorem. The sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. So here we are not bothered about the sum. What they mean to say is, the longest side will always be lesser than the sum of the smaller two sides. That is what they mean to say with the third one. Now here in this sum, since we have got an angle and they have asked us to show that the hypotenuse is the longest side. That means this is the side opposite to that angle. It is enough if we show that angle B which is equal to 90 degree is the greatest angle by the second theorem. So we will take the triangle ABC. In that triangle, sum of all the angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C should be equal to 180 degree by the angle sum property. So, now we can substitute that angle B is 90 degree. So, we get angle A plus 90 degree plus of angle C is equal to 180 degree. Which means when we take the 90 to the right hand side, angle A plus angle C should be equal to 180 minus 90 which is 90 degree. When we see that the sum is less than 90 degree, we know that both the angles have to have some value. Because if one of the angles becomes 0, it means it is not a triangle at all. So it means A, a will be lesser than 90 degree as well as C is also lesser than 90 degree. This shows that angle B is the greatest angle because that is 90 and the other two are less than 90. So now we can use from the second theorem that in any triangle the side opposite to the larger angle is longer. We can show that angle B is the greatest angle therefore the hypotenuse or the AC the side which is opposite to angle B is the longest side. So the next step is forming equations and solving the sum. So given is ABC is a right angle, the triangle, right angle at B, where B is equal to, angle B is equal to 90 degree. We can keep as equation 1. We need to show that the hypotenuse AC is the longest side. So the solution is we will take the triangle ABC, the sum of all the angles A, B and C, that is angle BAC plus angle ACB plus angle AC. A, B, C all is equal to 90 degree. This is the angle sum property of a triangle. So from 1 we can see that angle B, A, C plus 90 degree instead of B plus of angle A, C, B is equal to 180 degree. So angle B, A, C plus angle A, C, B is 180 minus 90 which is 90 degree. So which implies angle B, A, C should be less than 90 degree and angle B, C, A should also be less than 90 degree otherwise it is not possible so because neither angle is a zero since it will not form a triangle then so from this we can show that angle ABC is the greatest angle 
Now since it is the greatest, the side opposite to that, that is the AC is the longest side because from the theorem we can write that in any triangle the side opposite to the larger angle is longer. Thus we have shown. Thank you.